I'm biohacker health coach Joe Baines and today's question is, is intermittent fasting effective for weight loss? And the simple answer to that is yes. If you can squeeze your eating window down, okay. let's say six hours to four hours to two hours, then it, what that will do is it will naturally reduce the amount of calories you're eating because you know, you're, if you get it down to like four, then the maximum meals you can have will be like about two meals. Uh, and then you're full. And if you're eating like only for say for a four hour window, then the rest of the time your body's not eating, it's, it's healing itself. So you want to allow the body to heal. And the body, when the body is healing itself and becomes healthier and healthier, which is what intermittent fasting allows the body to do, it allows the body to have a rest. And uh, then, then you naturally start losing weight. If you're healthy, it's hard to be fat and healthy, okay? If you've got, especially if you've got a tummy, if you've got a belly, it means you're sick. So if intermittent fasting is a protocol that allows the body to rest, allows the body to heal in between eating, because it creates a big enough time window where you're not eating that the body can effectively heal itself. And when the body is healing, it loses weight naturally, um, it shed stones. And uh, yeah, so intermittent fasting is very powerful. And intermittent fasting goes really well with keto because keto is high fat and it keeps you full for a long period. So with keto, keto allows you to naturally do intermittent fasting. Like I wasn't even doing intermittent fasting until I went keto. And once I started doing keto, I naturally went down to one or two meals a day. It just happened by itself. And the other thing keto allows you to do is it allows you to divorce yourself from food. Because I used to eat four or five meals a day when I was eating uh, normal crap, uh, normal standard Western diet. So if you're eating, if you don't have a diet plan for yourself, if you don't follow a Pacific diet, then you are still following a diet, which is the standard American diet, which is called SAD diet. And it will make you very, very sad.